At the Shell Mini Stadium, action kicked off with Uni France Primary School taking on Maryland Convent Private School. And later receives the ball back. Can he put a decent ball into the box? He can. And it's the first goal of the game. And here come Uni France. And Muhas has a chance. And it's a brilliant finish. Welcome once again to the Isheri Stadium. The match between Army Children's School and St. Paul Primary School was a tough one. 18 channels international kids cup gets the ball now to akim brilliant movement from akim to get past his marker and he sends a wonderful cross forward michael is going to chase it down he's retained possession brilliant display of skill there for michael and he goes for god he ricochets off the bar that's a brilliant attempt and they still can't force it in Ami children scores and finally goes in Finally goes in for Army Children's Schools and it's just the number 10, Rakib. Rakib's goal was good enough to shoot the Army boys into the next round. And the boys were launched. In the last match at Isheri, Salahuddin Primary School defeated Zumura to Islamia by a single goal now, to keep their hopes alive. The, the, the player wanted to use his head, he saw the boots, eye boots, he decided to withdraw. And this might pass with the first goal and yes! At Campus Square, Abino Mululu and Oke okay, Shagun played 1 1 after regulation time and had to settle for penalties. Abino Mololu won the marathon shootout, 21 kicks taken and 21 converted. Wow! <laughs> Denman School and ex planter also kept their momentum going. Once again, the Channel's Kids Cup has shown there are talents at the grassroots. There are eight schools still playing for a place in the international finals. They four will reduce the number to four. Austin, Okonakpan, Channel's Television News.